So this first slide is the average temperature. Again, we do free tests, take the average from the free test, and that's on each of the pace using the same machine, blah de blah de blah The room temperature is 21.5 degrees Celsius. We do have air conditioning and heaters, and we constantly monitor the temperatures at the beginning, middle, and end of each test. And each test was 30 minutes long, and we're running our i7 13700K processor, which is renowned to be hot. So the end NZXT pre-applied pace on the water cooler and the CPU came in at 77 degrees Celsius, where the MX4 was slightly better at 76, the MX5 was 74 degrees, and the MX6 at 73 degrees. So that shows us a 4 degree difference between the pre-applied paste and the MX4, which shows you that going out buying aftermarket paste can actually increase the cooling capability of your CPU, which can then obviously allow you to potentially overclock it a little bit more, uh, less thermal throttling, and potentially um, makes the lifespan of the device last a little bit longer. On this slide, this is the max temperature. So the maximum the processor got up to, again, this is average over three tests, blah de blah de blah As you can see, the NZXT pre-apply plates come in at 92 degrees, and the Arctic MX6 came in at 86 degrees. Again, a six degree difference, which is actually pretty good. That will actually stop a lot of thermal throttling issues with high-end CPUs, and may even give you a little bit of headroom just to go with that extra 100 megahertz potentially when you're overclocking, or potentially might obviously make the machine last a little bit longer, because uh, as we all know, the cooler stuff is, the longer it lasts. So in conclusion, 
Arctic has come out with another good paste. Believe it or not, it's better than the previous one. Who would have thought? But saying that, there's four degrees difference on average between the NZXT1 and the MX6, and around about three degrees between the MX4 and the 6 and then around about 1 to 2 degrees between the 5 and the 6 for the average temperature and if we go on to the maximum temperature the even widens more uh, 6 degrees difference between the maximum temperature the NZXT paste what came with the cooler 92 degrees compared to 86 degrees on the MX6 which goes to show if you go and buy some better thermal paste you can actually achieve better cooling and in some cases better thermal paste can actually uh, work better than going for the next model up of potentially water cooler or air cooler so just bear that in mind good paste can make a huge difference it might not seem a lot three four degrees here and so forth but that could be an extra 100 megahertz maybe 200 megahertz if you're overclocking which can make a difference obviously cooler it is it makes things last longer you get less thermal throttling and so forth so would i recommend this paste yeah i would how would it compare against others on the market hard to say just yet but we'll be we'll be doing our yearly summary of all thermal pastes or at least the most popular ones in around january and we'll definitely be including this on the list to see how it compares to others but i have a feeling it's going to give some of them on the list a good run for its money with these really good temperatures I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.